Hi again. Let's talk today about azospermia. What we mean by azospermia? No sperm in the ejaculation. So if an infertile couple comes in to see me, we do seminal fluid analysis, uh, that's to say analysis of the ejaculate, and we find no sperm whatsoever. That's what we call azospermia. Now if you think about it, there can't be more than two reasons for that. Number one, there is a blockage somewhere, so the sperms are not going out from the testes to the outside. And this is what we call obstructive azospermia. The other reason is that there is no production in the sperms in the testes itself, or no enough production in the testes, uh, sperms in the testes itself, so the sperms, they are not in enough number to go to the outside. And that what we call non-obstructive azospermia. So if we talk about obstructive vasospermia, so obstructive vasospermia, there is a blockage somewhere. It could be as simple as somebody had a vasectomy, and therefore there's a blockage. Or it could be an inflammation or infection somewhere down the tubes, like what happens with the chlamydia or sexually transmitted infections. That some blocks the tube and, and the sperms won't be going to the outside. Or there are blockage related to previous surgery, inflammation, infection of some sort. Generally, obstruction can be found and treated, but it also depends on the level of it, where about it, where about exactly it is. For example, if it's a vasectomy, we know where it's been, been blocked, we can find that blockage, and we can use surgical microscopes to join the tubes again. Now, the success is obviously variable, depends on various factors, but that could be a way of treating that blockage surgically. On the other hand, non-obstructive azospermia, there is a problem in the production of sperms. And there could be many factors for that. It could be the way the genes or the genetic makeup of that person. It could be related to a, a previous infection that affect the the tubes of the testes that produce the sperms, or it could be related to some unknown factors that the sperms switch themselves off from getting into maturation. And that's what we call testicular failure or testicular dysfunction. When that happens, the hormonal status of the body changes because the brain will realize there's a problem in the sperm production and start to produce different hormones at a higher level, something like FSH, which is a specific hormone produced by the brain to the testes to stimulate spermatogenesis, that's to say, the process of producing sperms.